Assalamualaikum and very good morning to all the committee members. So as we all know that all of us together here for the executive meeting for our monthly agenda. This meeting agenda have been distributed in your board pack. Are there any amendments to the agenda? No. no. Thus, the agenda will run as stated. So there will be a few things that will be discussed in this meeting and will be this and we have discussion on the solutions. Before we proceed with our meeting, just to make sure that everyone attends the meeting. May I have everyone's attention? Uh, is Miss Honey Chief of Financial Officer here? Yes, I'm here. Uh, is Miss Auni our Chief Technical Officer here? Yes, I'm here. Uh, may I have Miss Lisa, Director of Marketing? Yes, I'm here. Uh, lastly, Tasha, Miss Tasha, Director of Marketing. Yes, I'm here. Right. So everyone's here, and let's not waste time for the. All right. So for the previous meeting, there are no corrections or amendments, and it was approved and endorsed. In addition, there were no matters arising. Before that, can someone propose the minutes be passed as the record? Um, I propose the minutes to be accepted. I second the motion. Alright, if there is nothing and everyone's here, so let's start with our meeting with our, with our first agenda, which is lack of brand image or personal. This is something very crucial for every entrepreneur to strive in the market. So without good personal branding, we might have to shut down our business as, as earlier as we thought. I know that we just started this business when we might have uh, this problem where people do not know our product or our business or also what we provide for the customers. So may I have Miss Alisa, our Director of Marketing, to give opinion and maybe give uh, and also if possible give a solution on this matter. Alright, uh, thank you Mr. Farhan. So um, in my opinion, the solution that we apply to enhance our business personal branding is I will use our social media effectively by always staying active and posting about our laundry cafe every day, four times a day, as we only used to post our business on social media twice a day before. Seems like our business is quite new to all our targeted customers. I will also want to encourage a more focus towards offline marketing strategies. Um, as we still got money from our loan, I'm planning to create a brochure so that we can pass the brochure to people, especially to our top market segmentation, which is students in UUM. And other than that, I also have the idea to create a poster so that we can put it uh, on the board around the UM as our targeted customers are mainly students, right? So I'm sure this can improve our personal branding. And the brochure also will be distributed among the people around this district. Um, by this way, it can increase uh, awareness about our business and available products together with the services that we provide. I believe those ways can generate more chances for brand expansion or brand expansion to take advantage of our brand positive reputation. Um, I think that's all from me. Uh, thank you. All right, I see. So may I have others to give their own thoughts on this issue? Me. I agree with Lisa's idea. Perhaps we can also run promotion such as creating rewards, coupon and gift bags for new customer and advertise them on our social media and other tools we have. It can be a great way to get and attract the customer. Me, I also have some suggestion on this. Why don't we invite an influencer to our laundry cafe? Because anything viral can help us attain our goals. Additionally, he or she can publish content promoting our laundry cafe and luring their fans here. It may incur some expense, but it may worthwhile our business. I agree with what you are saying, honey. However, have you considered about the cost? Since um, inviting an influencer to our laundry is not easy and it requires a relatively high cost, I just afraid that it will make a significant increase in our capital. Yes, I think about that as well. And depending on our financial flow, we still have some money and haven't run out our budget. Nevertheless, it depends on who, in, who we invited as some have bearing pricing ranges. Um, I also agree with Tasha and Hani. So I think that will be our solution for our first problem, Mr. Farhan. Uh, thank you. All right. So by 
create a brochure and create a poster, also inviting an influencer. So I think that's a good idea. Uh, but never mind. We we'll proceed to our second issue. Right now, I'm sharing our monthly expenses, and as well as you can see on the screen that we're having this same problem every month without fail, which is late debt repayment. So, may I know why we have this kind of problem? Miss Hani, may I have your words on this? Thank you, Miss Mr. Farhan. Since we are considered as SME, I believe we can request a date adjustment of a late payment by applying a moratorium. By how? By going directly to the bank uh, and requesting an adjustment that prior to the, to our prior to the deadline. However, we are already delinquent, so we must pay immediately, and the payment must include the overdue as in the future. Uh, include overdue, sorry, interest fee. This recommendation may be able to avoid future complications as we strive at as we strive to shift this task that the bank presented to SME. Thank you. Um, besides, I'm also suggesting that maybe we can use auto payment systems, which means that uh, the bank will also deduct the money from our account so that we can avoid the default payments. By doing that, we can make sure that our business secrets and secrets are in good terms for our future plans. Mm, I agree with both idea. We can try to apply first. Uh, if we can extend the payment, it will good, uh, be good for us. Then to ensure we always pay in time uh, and our sister score in a good health, Lisa's idea of make it out the payment is the best for this problem, in my opinion. Oh, I see. I never know that we could done this. So I think uh, by applying a moratorium and also uh, auto-deduct uh, method can be done. Never mind. Uh, and and good job by the others. So uh so we we proceed to the third issue. Uh and it's very, very important. You know that the public relation is also an element of having a successful business. Having customer is like having babies where we as we as their caretaker need to provide everything to them and we need to get to know our babies inside out. So I would like to have my employees to sit down with our customer and have a chit chat with them so that the relationship between us and our customer will improve from time to time. What do you reckon, Mr. Shah? Thank you, Mr. Fahan. Uh, not meeting the customer expectation can be cause of many reasons. But what I can suggest from my perspective as a director, director of operation for now is we have to increase our quality of service. We have to make sure our store always in a clean, comfortable and safe condition. This is for customer satisfaction. While to meet customer expectation, I suggest that it could be better if we expand our lines of food and drinks product by multiplying the, uh, the options. Means here is we can add some snacks and also the isotonic drinks in our cafe so that customer can have many choices and can make a set, uh, the selection. Other than that, maybe in the last week, I accidentally heard uh, a complaint from one customer who said the detergent that we are currently using is not very fragrant. So it could be one of the reasons why our service is not meeting customer expectation. Uh, and maybe if everyone is agreed, we could change the detergent with the same or approximately with the previous cost. Besides that, since we are using a 100% coin-operated laundry business, business ensure, ensuring our machine in well function and such sufficient for the number of customers at one time is also required to fulfill the customer expectation. But I think Oni can explain in detail uh, since she is a chief technical officer and this is under her department. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Tasha. Uh, regarding the machine, before we start our laundry, I have surveyed a lot of machine brands from different suppliers, and the results showed that the machine that we purchased is the best. However, the, ma the machine is still well functioned, and our customer also love to use our ma machine as it is convenience. But for the last week, there is complaint regarding our dryer. Lots of customers said that our dryer do not dry their clothes completely. There are some clothes uh, that are still done, 
and yesterday one of our one of our customer clothes got burned in the dryer and now i i have shut the, the, the dryer down and uh, this based on the problem aroused by the, the customer i have made a complaint to our supplier and they said they will replace our dryer with the new one as we still have a warranty with them uh, and to make sure the same thing don't repeat it itself i have requested them to change uh, to other brand who will work efficiently uh, that's all from me thank you um, I agree with solution Tasha. So for a complaint from a customer, can you please pass me the details of the complaint? I mean, when was it and what time that incident happened? I just want to contact our customer for the inconvenience so that we can prevent the customer from criticizing and remounting our business since now we are working to strengthen our personal branding. Sure, I will send the details of the incident within this week to you. Alright, thank you Tasha. Okay. Alright, so thank you all of you. Uh, for giving such a, a good idea on how to overcome the issues that we have been facing uh, previous month. And uh, so for the first problem that we can, we can conclude that which is lack of brand image on personal branding, we we'll agree uh, to Alisa's idea which are to stay active on social media. Uh, am I right, Miss Alisa? Um, yes. Alright, so we, we need to focus more on offline marketing and uh, also the production of brochure. Uh, are, are there any having uh, disagreement on Alisa's idea? May I have uh, Miss Auni to give her uh, just uh, you know, like thoughts on uh, Miss Alisa's idea. Uh, I agree with Miss Alisa. Uh, but to save cost, we can make a brochure, uh, a small, and then just put a QR code uh, that fill with our information, so that we can cut our cost in the making of the brochure. Alright. So, yeah, I think Miss. I also agree on uh, Miss Alisa's idea, which is very you know uh, smart. Uh, suggestion solution so next for the second issues which is late debt repayment we we have agreed on two solutions which is applying a moratorium and also auto deduct system as we have to maintain our credibility of our business uh, so uh, miss honey are you having uh, a, a problems on this kind of method or maybe you have a you know, you you knew other kind of method that also can be applied on. So far, no, I agree both uh, opinions. Okay, see. So lastly, for the third issue, which is not meeting customer expectation, uh, we have, you guys have been discussing and Tasha's idea, which is to multiplying the options for foods, foods and drinks, ensuring our machine in well function and sufficient with our new suggestion which is to replace our laundry appliances with other brands so uh, by having other brands laundry appliances will there be uh, reduced in cost uh, miss tasha may i have your opinion on this method I think this method is okay, but I will um, update you in the next meeting if anything changes happen. Alright, so if uh, if no, I think if is it, if this uh, meeting have have a good impact, which is we can reduce our problems and also uh, giving solution that can solve uh, this kind of problem. So I think we we are nearing the end of our meetings. So, but before we end the meeting, does anyone have anything to say about today's meeting? Maybe you guys uh, have any recommendation for the next meeting or maybe there are any matter that might be appeared in the future. Uh, Miss Hani? Uh, so far, no. Alright, uh, Miss Natasha? Same, no. Miss Alisa? Uh, so far, no problems yet. So lastly, Miss Auni? Uh, so far, all is good. Alright, so if you guys have no problems, 
uh, I think we have reached the end of our meeting. So thank you for coming and see you for the next meeting. All right. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone.